Hi everyone, we've not got long to go to Christmas so I thought I'd show you how to make this lovely Santa display. He's very quick and easy to make and is completely air filled. Hi, I'm Melanie from Balloon Artworks here in the UK. I'm inflating five five inch round balloons with a balloon hand pump. This is the Qualitex one and I'm going to inflate with four strokes of air. One, two, three, four. Round your balloon off slightly, put a twist in the neck, hang on to that. One, two, three, four, straight off the hand pump, otherwise you will lose air through the body of the hand pump and your balloon will deflate. Wrap around twice. Make another one of these. Take your other inflated five inch round and tie together. Connect the balloons together at the center. One, two, three, four, round. One, two, three, four, round them off, tie. Inflate another one. One, two, three, four, round off. Put a twist in that neck and you're going to tie that directly to one of the necks of the two balloons you've already inflated. Inflate the next two. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Wrap once, round twice, and tie. Connect the balloons together at the center. Place a red cluster on top of the black cluster and ensure that each of the black balloons sits in between two of the red balloons. Take one of the necks from the cluster below and just wrap it around the balloons on the top. So you're just going around each balloon until you run out of neck and then you can just let that go. Okay, so that's what you've got. You're going to need a sand or a water weight. I'll leave a link in the description below to where you can find out how to make one of these and just pull the neck from the water, for the sand weight uh, into the top layer and again, wrap around the balloons in the top layer. Okay, pull the neck from the lower layer and take another cluster and place it on the top and pull the neck from the layer below upwards. And again, make sure that each red balloon in the layer below is sitting between two balloons above. And then just wrap that neck around to connect the balloons together. And connect another cluster in the same way. To inflate your four balloon, you're looking for this valve here, and that is where you put your hand pump. And then just start to inflate. So we're inflating with air, so this balloon will not float. So just carry on inflating. It doesn't take very long at all to inflate an 18 inch balloon like this. And as we are getting close to this being inflated, it's still a little bit soft. It needs to be inflated a little bit more. And just bear in mind that the air inside the balloon will expand if it's warm and it will contract if it's cold. So if you start off like this and your balloon, maybe the next day, has gone down, if it's been cold overnight, it, there's a chance that the gas inside, the air inside, will have um, shrunk. And just bring it into the warm and it should reinflate. This is still a little bit soft, so I am going to inflate a little bit more, but proceed with caution at this point because it would be very easy to pop the balloon. Okay, so for a foil balloon like this, we still want some creases around here, but the balloon is now nice and firm and it springs back when I walk my fingers around the edges like this. So that is what you're looking for. To tie and finish off a balloon like this, I am 
using a 260 twisting balloon and I've just snipped off the tip end. I lay it along the neck of the balloon and just fold the neck over and roll that 260 into the neck of the balloon. So just keep rolling until you are about not quite an inch from the side of the balloon, at which point just pinch the neck together and then take these ends and tie them together. So you can use curling ribbon and other things to tie, but I do like to use the 260s because they're quite kind to the balloons. So pull that tight and then tie once more. Okay, so that's going to finish off your balloon to a nice point. Take the 260 tails from your Santa balloon, pull them into the clusters and just wrap around the balloons all the way to the bottom and then you can just let the tail go and then do the same thing on the other side just wrapping around all the way to the bottom I'm inflating a 260 black balloon Most of the way, I've left a tail of maybe four fingers, I'm letting the air out to soften that and I'm going to tie that into a knot. Okay, and then I'm going to inflate a gold five inch balloon with just a couple of strokes and then let a lot of the air out until that just sits in the palm of your hand and then tie a knot. So that's maybe three inches. So wrap the 260 all the way round and you want the 260 to sit just below this second layer from the top. Okay, and then just tie those ends together. Then take your gold balloon and split it in half. So just put your hands either side of the knot and, and just twist in opposite directions, okay? And then wrap the neck around. So we've got a nice gold bottle. And then you can just wrap that in here. You can use one of the black tails here if you want to. And you can actually tie that onto the neck of the gold balloon if you wish to. I've inflated a 260 red and I have a bubble of about 18 inches and I've left a long piece here. I've tied the other end as well so there's a knot at each end. And then take a five inch balloon in black and just inflate with one stroke of the hand pump and then tie the black round balloon directly to the end of the 260 okay and then just stretch out the balloon just to make sure that the shine comes out and then you can cut away the black excess here and the red excess and then do the same thing to the other end of this balloon. I've inflated a 260 white and stretched it so that it's nice and soft and I'm just going to wrap this around the end of the arm, give that a twist there, pass that knot and nozzle around a couple of times break off this end and tie this in a knot 
and then let some of the air out of here and tie this in a knot and you can use this piece to add the trim to the other end of Santa's arm and then we can just trim away the excess here. Tie the end of 260 around the end of Santa's arm. So you may need to stretch this a little bit. So we want Santa's arms just to sit here. So pull that 260 just below the first layer of red balloons all the way through to the other side and then wrap the other end around Santa's arm there and tie a knot. Okay. And you've just got the 260 going across the back of the um, foil balloon.